with another video. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you all how you can unlock your Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 without Xiaomi's official permission. So you must be thinking why I'm doing this because of this. So Xiaomi rejected my application. So yes, that's the reason why I'm doing this. So without wasting any time, guys, let's do it. So guys, before proceeding to the tutorial, we will need to disable driver signature enforcement on our PC. So we can do that by pressing Windows plus I button on our keyboard. This will reveal the setting page. From there, we can choose update and security. After that recovery and then advanced startup and then restart now. So wait for a moment, the computer will restart. And then go to troubleshoot, then advanced option, then startup settings, and then restart. So once your computer restarts, now choose disable driver signature enforcement, which is option number seven, as you can see in the video. Now guys, we have successfully disabled the driver signature enforcement in our PC. So now we can proceed to the next step. So after preparing our PC, we will need to prepare our phone. So first of all, we will have to enable USB debugging on our phone. So to do that, simply go to the settings about phone and tap 7 to 10 times on the MIUI version. That will activate developer option menu. Now go to settings, additional settings and then developer options and then enable USB debugging and also enable the OEM unlock as you can see in the video. So guys, this method will delete all the files and apps from your phone. So make sure you have taken a backup of your phone before proceeding to the tutorial. To take a backup, just go to the additional settings and then backup and reset and take a backup from there and transfer that backup to your SD card if you don't want to lose your files. So guys, after preparing the PC and the phone, now it's time for the main work. So first of all, connect your Redmi Note 3 with the PC using the company dedicated USB cable. So guys, to unlock our Redmi Note 3, we will need these five files. So the link for each of the file will be given in the description. You can find it from there. So after downloading these files, extract it using WinRA or any other extracting software. So guys, after extracting the files, open the ADV drivers folder and install the ADV drivers. After that, Open the MI Flash folder and install the MI Flash software. And Windows should pop up saying Windows can't verify the publisher of this software. Just press on install this software anyway. And this should install the MI Flash software. After installing the MF Flash, open the unlocked bootloader folder and copy the MBN file. And after copying the .mbn file, go to the Kenzo Fast Food Room folder and after that, open images and override the .mbn file by pasting the file. After that, go to the NF folder and open the cmd.exe file. After opening it, type ADV devices and hit enter. A pop-up should appear in your phone. Press on always allow for this computer and press OK. Your device should be listed in the command prompt as you can see. After this, type ADV reboot EDL. This will boot your phone in the EDL mode.
Now minimize the command prompt and open the MI Flash software which we had installed earlier. After opening the app, hit on browse and select the Kenzo fast food ROM folder which we had extracted earlier. After selecting the ROM folder, go to advanced option and choose flash all dot bat file in the fast food script. Choose prog emc firehouse 8976 ddr.mbn file in the flash programmer. Choose raw program 0.xml in raw xml file. And choose patch 0.xml in the patch xml file. And after that, close the window. And then click on refresh button of MI Flash tool. Upon refreshing, your phone will be displayed as connected device at some COM port number. As you can see mine. Sit tight and wait for the flashing process to take place. It will take about 200 seconds. Once the process has been done, next, while your phone is still connected with PC, you have to reboot your phone into fast food mode. You can achieve that by pressing volume down and power button together approximately 30 seconds. Now go back to the command prompt. Don't worry if you have already closed it. Open it again and type fastboot om device info. This will show the bootloader details. As you can see, it is still locked. Now it's the turn for the magic words. Type fastboot om unlock dash go. The unlock process will take a few seconds to complete. Your phone will restart. Now again boot to the fastboot mode and type fastboot om device info. As you can see our bootloader is been unlocked. So guys that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it and dislike button if you disliked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will be posting many more tutorials like this. So guys, this is your Android Discord guy, signing off. You guys have a great day. Peace.